Okay, we're going to put together some Danver cabinets today and uh, we're going to take it step by step. It's a very easy process. Basically all you need is a number two Phillips head screwdriver, uh, and a level, and a uh, tape measure. The first thing we're going to do when you are making an installation is to line the cabinets up still in the box in the order that they're going to be assembled. Uh, this way there is less chance of uh, losing um, uh, parts and uh, screws and uh, handles etc. Uh, everything is marked. Uh, you will find a master box filled with uh, there will be adjustable legs, pulls, screws, uh, hinges etc. And then inside the box is a bag that is marked with the cabinet number on it and this will correspond with a tag in the back of each cabinet um, and uh, so this is an, um, a trash pull it's an 18 inch wide um, cabinet and it corresponds with the name in the back. After you take the boxes off and are ready to assemble the first thing to do is to take your adjustable legs and twist them uh, so that one or two threads show and that will be approximately from the end four and a half inches. Okay. Cups to receive the uh, adjustable legs are already been screwed on at the factory and all you have to do is lift the cabinet and uh, uh, stick the uh, adjustable leg into the cup. On the right wall of every cabinet is a flange. At the bottom there are two screw holes. Start a screw at the second of the two holes or the top Okay. On the left wall, side wall of each cabinet, on the flange, there is a double keyhole, which looks like a dog bone. What we are going to do is we're going to lift the dog bone over the head of the screw, and then come around to the back of the cabinet and do the same thing. Lift the cabinet and and the keyhole over the uh, screw head. On the inside of each cabinet there will be a hole to stick your screwdriver through to um, cinch up the screw. Then move around to the rear and uh, do the exact same thing. Here's the hole for the screw, your screwdriver. Each cabinet comes with a U-channel and the U-channel is placed over the side walls of the two cabinets. Line up the holes and put four screws in. Now, the doors, the cabinets come with the drawers already assembled. The doors will have bubble wrap and will be placed inside uh, the cabinet uh, for protection uh, during shipment. Uh, so, and these will go on uh, after you have assembled uh, all of your uh, cabinetry. At this juncture, uh, take your level uh, bring it out and check around to see how level you are and if the legs need to be adjusted so that your overall height is 34 and a half inches which is standard under counter height. At this time you are now ready to attach another cabinet uh, in the same manner that we did the first two. In this case we're going to 
place a refrigerator here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is have a refrigerator uh, panel. <clears throat> this panel is designed to cover the unfinished side of a cabinet. Uh, at the plant, we install two screws and these are used to guide the panel into position. And the cabinet goes inside of the sidewall. Take two screws and attach the panel from the inside. And now we have a finished panel so that when the refrigerator door opens, you will see uh, nothing but stainless and you will not find any screw in screw heads or unfinished parts of the cabinet. The next thing we're going to do is lock the cavity for the refrigerator into place. We're going to start three screws Uh, take your refrigerator spacer and hang it onto the three screws and tighten them into place. Then there is an angle bracket that attaches to the refrigerator spacer and to the side of uh, the uh, cabinet. The angled bracket attaches to the inside of the refrigerator spacer uh, and there are holes drilled uh, to accept the screws. On each side wall of each cabinet there is a three inch diameter hole cut. This allows you to run your electrical wires, your plumbing, and your gas. Grill base and appliance base cabinets all have plated um, openings uh, in the back wall uh, and on the bottom uh, floor uh, to receive uh, either water or gas or electric. In attaching a finished end panel, turn it upside down. You'll notice that there are two screws pre-installed. At the bottom flange of the side wall are two half-inch pre-drilled half-inch holes. Take the screw heads and use them as a guide. Place them in the half inch drilled holes and push your uh, side panel uh, into the uh, side wall of the cabinet and attach from the inside with two screws. Uh, this is known as a shipping bracket. It is designed to protect the cabinet during transit. However, do not throw it away. Unscrew. Unscrew the bracket and place it, place it approximately two and a half to three inches from the back wall. And then reinstall. Uh, this now becomes an integral part in supporting the countertop. After you have installed all of your cabinetry, remove the protective wrap, slide in your grill, and push in your refrigerator, and enjoy your kitchen.